Hey guys, Paul from Montana. Um, I am working on my Mariah ski boat. This has an Alpha 1 Gen 2 outdrive on it. Um, the job I did today was to replace the exhaust bellows. Uh, you can see them back in there, see that kind of accordion um, right in the center of your screen. It's a rubber boot that transfers the exhaust to the outdrive um, through this port right at the bottom. And when that tears, uh, you'll notice that your boat sounds a little noisier and it can also allow water to, uh, to enter in the, into the bilge area, which is bad news. So you have to fix that. Um, I'm here to tell you right now, this job sucks. I'm a pretty patient guy and I work on a lot of stuff and you know, rebuild engines, this and that and the other thing. This sucks, man. I <laughs> don't drink a bunch of beer and do it on a Sunday afternoon. Don't uh, run out there and go, man, I'm really having a bad day today, but I think I'm gonna put exhaust bellows on my boat. Nope, you gotta be in the most best mood you've ever been in to get this job done right. Uh, I watched some videos on YouTube to try to help me get through it, and th there's so many different ideas that I kinda stirred them all together, and I got something that works here. So I'm gonna offer my advice, and uh, take it or leave it. Okay, first off, uh, there's a lot of guys out there that are saying hey you can do this without disassembling anything you can stuff the new bellows in there and work them on and and all that I don't recommend that take your out drive off um, this literally takes five minutes to get it off. it's not hard to, to pull this thing off there and then you just got to buy yourself a um, gasket kit right here uh, so you can put it back together these are ten bucks on Amazon or eBay or whatever uh, so when you put it back on there, you'll have all new gaskets and O-rings. Uh, <clears throat> secondly, um, a lot of guys are saying use bellow adhesive, don't use bellow adhesive, it's this ongoing debate. Well, I used it and I, this thing is on there man, it is, it is not coming off. It took me a couple of tries to get it, but it is stuck and I'm really uh, confident in this job. So. Um, and if I post this, it means I've used the boat for a while and with no issues. If you're watching this video, it's been out there. It's, you know, proven itself. So, um, so again, first thing you do is take that uh, lower unit off. Very easy, six bolts. Put your boat in forward gear and there's a little foot up in there that'll line up like this, like towards the front of the boat. So when you pull the lower unit off, it slides out of this little... Um, uh, channel on this foot. This is what's shifting the gears with your with your cable. So if you, you know if you go to forward gear, it's pretty much forward, and then it'll allow that lower unit to come off. And then you want to remove this tube or pipe or whatever uh, this rod. You want to move this remove this shift rod. It used to be, you know, right where the exhaust uh, outlet is, so that you can get in there and, and use your tool on it to put the bellows on. Um, don't lose the parts. There's like a little fiber washer that's on there for um, smoother motion of that rod. So, okay, so you've got the outdrive off. You take this rod out of the um, hydraulic rams. They're down here and it just pops right off there. It's easy. Um, next, get, get yourself some brand new bellows. I bought Quicksilver bellows. Um, Here's your part number right there. You can even see that. Uh, looks like it's 8M0124227 Quicksilver. Um, and while you're at it, order your set, order yourself this tool right here. This is a bellows installation tool. It's about 30 bucks. Very awesome to have. I don't know if I could have done it without it. Um, here's the part number for that. I'll stick my little Magnifier on there, see if you can see it. Okay, so yeah, so you want to order this kit here. Uh, you want to order this tool here, bellows installation tool. You want to order uh, the bellows assembly, and then you want to order a bellows adhesive to put it on there. So I found it easiest to install this to the stern first. 
of being you know farther towards the front of the boat so I installed the bellows on there first and then I, I pulled the rear side back on um, how I did that was uh, I cleaned the bellow surface that gets the glue on it extremely well with this fiber brush right here this is like a um, fiberglass cleaning brush that makes that rubber just, just turns that rubber into like a virgin nice awesome rubber here you can see the old bellows so what you're doing is you're cleaning that you know that inside surface right there get that just virgin awesome rubber look to it then cleanliness is godliness in this job you're not it's not going to work for you if you don't get everything perfectly clean um, then inside of the engine I mean the, the outdrive, there's the little metal pieces, you know, that slide inside of both ends of that. I made this little rod. I took a dowel and I put some sandpaper on it with some uh, duct tape or zip panel tape, whatever you have. This one's beat up because I used it, but I just taped a little, you know, flag of 80 grit sandpaper on there, stuck it in a drill, and then I was able to really clean all the way around that front port. Super awesome until it was shiny aluminum. Uh, the rear port is a little easier. You can kind of just get your fingers up in there and just sand it really good. And if there's crap on there, like old adhesive, you can get it off with acetone. Wear your gloves, wear your respirator, safety glasses. Get your safety glasses on because you don't want that crap in your eyes either. Acetone's nasty. So clean everything just perfectly. And that's what you have to do. You can't, you can't skip that. Um, so after I clean my bellows, again this is just the old one out of there, um, I put these little tabs on there. Those are grounding tabs. Uh, some people on the internet world said those grounding tabs work well to uh, kind of poke into the base steel and keep your uh, bellows on there. Um, I don't know if I really buy that. Maybe it worked for them, but I think cleanliness and a good glue job and getting these all the way seated is key. But anyhow, I put these little grounding tabs back on. They're onto the to one that came with it, six o'clock position. Um, then I put my clamps on pretty loose. And then I spread bellows adhesive onto both surfaces, the metal surface on the lower unit plus the rubber surface on here, very lightly with this small brush very light layer pretend you're bob ross don't go crazy with it because what you'll end up with is a big gummy gooey mess that doesn't stick contact cement is meant to be put on in an extremely light layer on an extremely clean surface that's how it works it won't work otherwise so you brush it on there really thin both surfaces this stuff dries right now you have no time zero time maybe they make a better product that gives you some time so you're not gonna be able to shove your bellows on there and tighten the clamps up. It's gonna stick and you won't be able to get it all the way on there. So one tip, this is a magic tip right here. I swear that this is gonna help you a whole bunch. So let your surface, glue surfaces dry till tacky and then spray a little bit of glass cleaner on one of the glue surfaces. And this thing will just slide right on there. And you want it on there as far as you can get it. Don't dink around. Your clamping surface needs to be inside of the metal by as much as, as you can manage. Because, um, you know, if stuff starts to slide or anything weird happens, that clamp's going to kind of bind it, you know, and hold it. You want that clamp all the way. You want the bellows and the clamp on there as far as you can get them on, on the, the casting that they get, you know, Put onto. Um, same with the rear side. The, again, I found the front side to be way harder than the rear. I don't know why. The front, by the front, I mean the one that goes through the stern. So do the stern one first, and you stick this tool inside of there, and you just jam that sucker in there and get it on there as best you can. And then you grab it right back here with, a, with that rope. Have that rope kind of holding your lower unit up, or have somebody pull your lower unit up. 
and then grab on these bells and just start you know pushing them on there from the back just aggressive like you're pissed at your boat because if this job doesn't go good you're gonna be pissed so just take it all out and do it right take out your aggression and do the job right so you get that all the way on there as far as you can and then you have to tighten this clamp uh, I found it easiest to drill a hole through uh, there's an existing hole there I drilled it up a little bit bigger um, right there uh, on the bottom that hole right in the center of the screen I drilled it up a little bigger so that I could get this in there this is basically a quarter inch extension drive with the right size socket for the hose clamp you want to use a drill if you start trying to get hand tools in there and screwdrivers you're gonna oh man you're gonna be pissed get a drill on there and just ease that clamp nice and tight don't overdo it because you can break it and you know kind of strip the clamp out so once it's tight it's gonna you know squeeze all this crap out of there and get a real good by crap i mean glass cleaner it's gonna squeeze that out and give you a real good bonding surface of those two um surfaces that have the adhesive on them um and then on the rear one, you, uh, I found that to be a little bit more of a fight to get it seated all the way than the front one. I had to put these basically through the exhaust port back here. So you kind of fish these through the exhaust port hole and put them in the bellows and just start pulling. And you pull with them like this and then you twist them 90 degrees and stretch it out and pull it this way and then fold it 45 degrees and just keep working it on there until it's as far on there as it'll go it has to be as far on there as it'll go and then tighten your clamp down make sure the clamp is square and even and nice when it when it gets tightened on there again use a glass cleaner to help you get that all the way on there okay well you guys are probably thoroughly confused right now um, with that um, that's the advice that I have to offer um, I hope that helps these are all the tools that I use I have my little junk bucket for acetone for cleaning parts if you don't get it right you can pull your bellows off and dip them in acetone and, and clean all the glue off and try again and just clean it up with your fiberglass brush you don't want to put layers of bellows adhesive over layers it has to be thin like like the glue on a post-it note or something you know how it's just like this a little thin layer that's what it's got to be it can't be a goopy mess it, do, it, do, it won't work like that so uh, acetone rubber gloves respirator tape for I taped on my little um, socket so it won't fall off and then I've got another screwdriver here with a driver in case you want to do something by hand an assortment of good powerful screwdrivers any kind of prying you got to do a nice little driver, um, a good headlamp. You need to be able to see what you're doing. You have a good headlamp on hand. Uh, dowel, sander, dealy bobber, uh, bellows tool, um, bellows adhesive, glass cleaner, um, and the uh, lower unit uh, housing gasket set. Now, I'm not going to go through the mechanics of getting putting this back on. It's that's all pretty easy. You might have to have someone kind of kind of spin the prop just a little bit to get these splines to go in but it'll go in and don't use the nuts to drive it in make sure it's all the way in before you tighten it down because you'll jack it up if you if you try to horse it on there um, so with that man I, I hope i didn't just talk in circles and confuse you i hope this helps you and um, thanks for watching